I'm Miss Amy and I teach maths here at Nexus in the secondary school and as some of you might know one of my hobbies is running. Um, during my half term break recently I took part in a race in Ipo um, and it was an ultra sky marathon. So an ultra marathon is a race that is uh, 50 kilometers or more and it's a sky run and that means that across the course there's an elevation of more than 2,000 meters. When I was trying to run up the hills, um, lots of the time you couldn't really get a purchase on the trail. Um, but some of the ways that I kept resilient was most of all having a positive mindset and making sure that I had really good self-talk. There were so many moments across the race where I was passing people or people passed me. It was really important to offer each other encouragement and just to say how well everyone was doing. Um, and making sure that I was kind to myself also. I rested at every rest stop. So every 10 kilometers I made sure I rehydrated, I had a snack and made sure that I was in the best shape I could be before I started again. Another way that I managed to stay resilient and persevere with the race was making sure that I didn't get overwhelmed with the big picture. 50 kilometers and that much elevation is a really daunting prospect. And especially when it takes so long in such challenging circumstances, it would have been really easy to get overwhelmed and think that I wouldn't be able to do it. But I found it super helpful just to be breaking the race up into manageable chunks. So I knew I just needed to get to the top of this hill and then I was gonna sit down and reward myself with I don't know, a banana or something. Um, so making sure that I broke down the challenge into manageable chunks really helped me continue. Uh, since COVID started, that I would have to make sure I trained really well and made sure my body was up to the challenge. Um, and so that meant a lot of early mornings uh, out on the trails in KL. It meant lots of horrible conditioning runs that I didn't enjoy at the time, but I knew would help me in the long run. Um, and a lot of the time it meant that I had to say no to certain things in other parts of my life because I knew that doing this was a priority. Um, so I had to make sure that I balanced my time and my commitments as well.